hello guys so um, welcome to my youtube channel again i promise i'm going to do this video to show you guys how you can skate through the odor of blank sandals so i'm going to show you a simple way very quickly how you'll be able to use a sandbox right from your local computer without using the internet or without having to open your intranet all right um kindly know that this is just a support video to help you skate through als and if you've not subscribed to this channel that's the least you can do for all we are doing for you all right that's the least you can do kindly subscribe kindly leave a comment you can share with friends also all right let's go ahead and do this now the first thing you want to do is to download git bash all right i already have git bash downloaded in my system so i'm just going to show you guys how to go about it um here is the link i'm going to paste this link i'll paste this link in the description of the video all right git scm.com forward slash downloads now you are going to download um, the one that is for your operating system so if you are using windows like me you go to windows and then you're going to use download the standalone and make sure to check your system information so go to your system search for system information to see that you are using either 62-bit or 32-bit um, operating system and once you do that come back and download the standalone installer all right download the standalone installer once you download this you go ahead and install it the installation process is simple so if you download it you're going to have something like this all right the installation process is simple just open it and then just tap next 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 until it installs once it's installed click finish all right it's very straightforward you don't need to do anything just next 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 and then tap finish after installation once you do that if you right click on your desktop you're going to see this git batch all right git bash you're going to see it now once you see a git bash all you need to do is open it all right tap to open your git bash so this is my git bash all right so this is my git bash yours will look somewhat like this when you open it now how do we connect our sound bus to a git bash now so here you need to go to your intranet so I'm going to log into my internet now. All right. So from my internet, I'll go to I'll go to my sandbox. So this is my sandbox. And from here, I will use SSH. All right. I'm going to use SSH. So rather than using the web term, I will use SSH. So we have SSH, SFTP, and web term. So tap on SSH. Once you tap, it's going to say copied. So you've copied your SSH. What you will now do is that you go to your Git bash and paste what you've copied. So right click and paste. All right. So make sure it's not highlighted, then tap enter. Make sure it's not highlighted, then tap enter. So I'll tap enter and I'll wait for it. So now it's asking for password. So you might paste it and it will ask you to type yes first. So type yes. And then once you type yes, it will ask you for password. For some, it's just going to ask you for password direct. Uh, for some, it will ask you if you trust the software you are trying to paste to your git bash. Just type yes lowercase is yes and then once you type yes it's going to ask you for password so here we will go ahead and copy our password so i'm going to go back to some bosses 
and then I will copy my password here. All right, where it says password, copy your password, get back to your git bash, right click and paste. You will not see the password. So once you paste once, tap on enter. If you paste more than once, um, it's going to give you error. So you see, we didn't see the password. And then right now you can see that my root is here, my sandbox is here. So if I ls now, you are going to see that it's showing my sandbox. So here you can work with your sandbox from your local computer without having to use your browser or having to use your intranet and the good thing about this is that you don't need internet to work you can do all your work and when you're ready to push to git up you can own your internet all right and begin to push to git up so this is a simple way to go about this all right so thank you for joining and please don't forget to subscribe to get more value from us and then click that notification bell so that once we upload a new video you will be notified like you know this channel is going to be here to guide you to help you throughout your als program as a task comes we're going to be creating new videos for you all right so see you guys in our next video